Police in Chicago announced a break today in the Jesse Smollett case. Two brothers from Nigeria are now suspects. Dean Reynolds is following this. All right, so everybody's talking about this Jussie Smollett thing that happened out in Chicago, right? So let's start where this starts, all right? On January 29th, we know that Jussie Smollett called the police around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, all right? He claimed he was attacked by two masked vigilantes, had bleach poured all over himself, and then had a noose put around his neck. At 4 a.m., when the police showed up to his house or his buddy's apartment where he was at, he still had the noose around his neck and whatever chemical was poured on him was still on him. He had a small scratch below his right eye and his face looked a little swollen. Not like he'd been brawling, but like he was fighting. Not only that, his subway sandwich was still fully intact so what is the real actual deal with what's going on well tom pease keeps his ear to the street i think it's important we all keep our ears to the motherfucking street but if y'all ain't gonna tom will bring you the news from the hip-hop underground to let you know what this situation is i got this little video clip i'm gonna show it to you and then you can stand here and judge for yourself about what you think actually happened I me mean, because i want to i want to talk about the empire dude to hear for his health because we all care about how he is doing right he then went on to explain that everything that happened in the story is factual and he's going to make sure that we all know it's factual which was a little odd to me it's a lie <laughs> He's lying. It doesn't add up. Yeah. Okay. Like, lying, I hate when I, niggas think black people like, are stupid. If I people get, are stupid. If I get beat up right now, and this is just me, if I get jumped outside right now and dudes tie noose around my neck, I'm not waiting three hours, two hours to call the police. And for sure, when the police show up, that noose will not still be around my neck. And that's the first thing that should have gave you reason to quarrel. Any black person Could that word? tells you that they had a noose put on them and left it there for the next 45 minutes... You should ask questions. Yeah. That's not a normal thing, just in psychology. <laughs> mm. yeah. But okay. It didn't even have to Got be it. See, if it was whatever on, on me that wasn't on me before I left my house, <laughs> I'm said, not He said in the statement me. that he was doing it to preserve the evidence. Well, I would believe that if well, call the if, cops from I right would believe there that I would believe that if your next move after this this uh, attack was to call the police, it was not. Right, it was not, exactly. You called your manager, and that was uh, 40 minutes later. Yeah. And then the police got a call. And then, became, and then it became a witch hunt of evidence because they know there's footage, so there has to be footage, so then the cops go and get footage. And they didn't get footage of an attack. Because they didn't call these people suspects. They mm -hmm. called them persons of interest. Mm -hmm. Which you do when you just have a picture of some shit and you have no idea what the fuck these people did. Mm -hmm. But how could that be the case when there was a letter sent to Chicago Fox 5 News of a bunch of pasty shit pasted everywhere? Letters. It, it looked like the uh, Signs of the Lambs nigga wrote that shit. <laughs> yeah, but but that's cool. That could possibly happen. For sure. Got it. For sure. Then you're telling me, uh, Lee Daniels was the first person to post about this tack and immediately deleted it. Okay, that's fine too. Can we just be honest? That's fine too. Can we just be honest for a second? Who would want to attack this dude? Like, how he's not a person that somebody would say him. We're going after. He's not that. I'm not saying he's not relevant, but I'm we not, don't talk about him every day. He's not somebody that's big in the news every day. He's not like. So I just don't even understand why that's just. It's su such a random thing, and it's it, it seems like such an elaborate plan. But when you look at it, it's like 
this does not make any fucking sense. Clearly, somebody came together and planned something and tried to cover all of their their bases. Like, okay, let's send a letter here. Let's do this. But it's like when you look at it, fam, this let's, don't make no fucking sense. Hey, let's talk. Mm. Let's talk further. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna go all the way with you saying because hate crimes do exist. Absolutely. So if this were indeed a hate crime, we wouldn't say that. Right. But we don't feel that it was right. us. Right. Us. And, you know, it's a shame that we in this era where I got to think twice about if I'm allowed to think something. Right. I don't believe that nigga was a, it was a hate crime. I don't believe that. Right. Hmm. Sorry. Which, which, I, I, reser- I should reserve that right is what I'm saying today. Which makes it all the worse if that is the case because these hate crimes do happen. Right. Oh, so 100%. Now, so now, 100%. So now you're sure. taken away from the believability, which I don't even know if it's a word. But it's it, like, I think it's a word. Yeah, and if it's not, you body that creation of a word. Yeah. I mean, that. In the event that it <laughs> yeah. is false, it's also bad, like, politi- like to add the political element to it. You give it. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all, y'all fast forward it. Okay. Let, me, let me just explain a little yeah, more. Go ahead. So, uh, what was the last thing said? Cops call 45 minutes later. A funny letter sent to uh, Fox News. Oh, Lee Daniels, post and delete. That's fine. But then the very next post I saw was from Taraji. Right. And it said, hey, vicious attack, blah, 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 blah. The third line was. Oh, no. Stream his music. Stream his music. Make sure his music is streamed 50 million times. Wait a minute now. You're not telling me that somebody involved in a hate crime is uh, you trying to promote their music. That just don't seem right to me. To that me. Didn't even, that didn't even feel like Taraji saying that. I, that's... I could never see Taraji saying that. that. And I don't know her, but it was just I don't know her felt either. Weird. And, and if it didn't feel feel weird, it felt weird coupled with Lee Daniels post and delete and it felt a whole lot weirder when the video of whatever single she was promoting had a dude with a noose in it. Mm. Mm. I've seen enough. Yeah. It's a little fishy. I have seen a fuck enough because I do believe that he was attacked. Would you got? Did you guys hear the story that was on Reddit? Mm-hmm. You did. Yeah, you did. You did. Yes. Yeah, Should right. we share with the audience? Should I do it? Should y'all yeah, do it? Love, love was I, quarrel. Love was quarrel. He was he was flirting with somebody else's boyfriend or lover, and they followed him home from the gay home. nightclub was, in was, Chicago that he frequents often, and they beat him up. And not saying I believe that, but when I see the pictures of him beat up, that's how it looked. And who's walking around because in if cold, I'm be- cold Chicago with bleach at three in the morning? Well, forget about that. I but. never met a kind racist that was attacking me. <laughs> right. If if you're telling me that somebody who hated the fact he was black and gay attacked him, that don't match the picture I saw. Now, he pokes a few holes in these stories right here, right? And when he does so... They stand here and start to tell stories of their own. Here, check this shit out. That's some sick shit. In my true. opinion, and this is my my opinion, and I'm explaining this to y'all because this would I had to learn this as well. I had to learn this as well. I had to learn why I couldn't immediately come tell y'all that I had a fight with seven niggas the day before the third story video shoot where I got my fucking ass beat. I couldn't tell y'all that. Mm-hmm. And I told some people that were in my best interest. Mm-hmm. And some of the conversation was, let's come up with a story. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm telling you that when famous people are doing something that they have no business doing, sometimes... Stories are created to protect against that. Absolutely. And what better way to do it than something that no one will question, which is a hate crime. Absolutely. And if I thought you would question one hate crime, guess what the fuck I'm going to do? You guessed it. I'm going to put icing on the cake and make it two. Mm -hmm. You black nigger and you gay bastard. Mm -hmm. That is appealing to a multitude of audiences. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
And what Jinx said to me earlier was, damn, I never even thought about none of this shit you saying, Joe, because I never looked past the hate crime. You said you said it was a hate crime and I'm all in. That's the point, Jinx. Mm-hmm. We're in we're in an era today where emotions are manipulated by the powers that be. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. not saying that that is what's happening. But- now, here is what actually happened, right? He's a gay dude. Fine, whatever. Do what the fuck you do in your own bedroom. I don't give a shit, right? Apparently, he was hitting on another dude's boyfriend. Dude got pissed off, followed him out the bar, and cracked the motherfucker. Then, he calls his manager. Right, and the manager goes, "What happened? I got a cut under my face and swole up. What do I do?" And he knew he had to shoot the next day or here coming soon, whatever the case might have been. Right for the show Empire that he's on, and then the manager decides to make up the story about the fucking attack. And in doing so, these two individuals were outside walking around. Whether or not they met with Jussie or not is completely up in the air. I'm not real sure. Nobody has any real idea about what actually happened off camera during that night between these three individuals. Now, these two brothers here, these two Nigerian individuals, one of them was an extra on the show. All right. They were labeled as persons of interest in the story by the police. Their house was raided. They found rope, bleach, masks. Now the thing is when it was first reported supposedly they had MAGA hats on then they didn't then they screamed it's MAGA country that story stuck and then when they found out it was two Nigerians and they said they were yelling racial epitaphs and (laughs) calling him all types and names about being a homo which that one I might believe from some Nigerians they don't play that bullshit over there right but the thing is that these individuals worked out together they knew each other They knew exactly who one another was. So, with that being said, it puts a whole new light on this fucking story. All right. Now, everybody said the whole thing was suspect to begin with, right? Because who the fuck is going to leave a noose around their fucking neck and not change their goddamn clothes after having a foreign chemical on your goddamn body? Just to begin with. Secondly, If you're attacked by two racist individuals, you're probably going to get beat up pretty decently. You know what I'm saying? Legitimately, you're going to get beat up pretty good. I've never met anybody beat somebody up for a racial fucking crime and have it not be like you leaving there with broken teeth and fingers and arms and his Subway sandwich was still intact. He said, well, I fought back. You know what I mean? I'm not weak just because I'm a homosexual. Is that supposed to mean I'm weak? Well, no, that's not the deal, Jussie, at all. What it is, is that when you get attacked by individuals who are capable of doing damage to you because there's more than one of them and there's only one of you, you're not talking about getting attacked by somebody who hasn't planned this out, right? You're talking about individuals who legitimately left the house with the intentions of doing damage to you, all right? Now... With that being said, all right, there's a lot of problems and holes in this story to begin with. And now that they ended up having these two Nigerians get arrested and picked up and they were released today because you can only hold somebody for 48 hours without charging them with a crime. Habeas corpus. That's fucking due process for the little bit. Right. <laughs> Yo, thank you, smoke. Right. That's the situation. Legitimately. So. Where does that leave us with this story? It leaves us with him being completely and utterly full of complete shit. All right. This was not a hate crime. All right. There was some hate crimes that actually happened here really recently. There was a kid named Kyle Yorlitz. Who's actually from my hometown. Who was robbed by five black kids for his wallet. And when he refused to give up his car keys in his car. They killed him. That's an actual hate crime. But you know. It won't be reported by the mainstream media. You know. Maybe because. The colors are inverted the wrong way for them. It is what it is. 
But this is Tom Pease of P. Noid News. Wanted to bring you this story. Holla at your boy. Peace. <laughs>